leaving Tokyo today. It's always a bittersweet moment for me. It's kind of crazy. It's like mid October. Japan's still pretty hot. Freezing cold back home. One regret. I wanted to get one last million. Didn't get a chance to do that. I saw you at the airport. to see you again soon as well oh god yes oh i missed you Ooh, limited time offering this looks good god i want one of these oh these are massive whoa these are the biggest pocky sticks i've ever seen great kit kats oh heck yeah that's mine right there So lucky to have a Yifuru in the airport. Oh, they brand their buns. Yeah, that's pretty. This is my favorite version of Yifuru ramen. And I think tons of garlic at the top. That's gonna both make this bowl of ramen delicious and make the flight attendants hate me. Now I truly feel a lot of it. It's okay, you know what? This is not as good as the one I had in New York, actually, this bun. But I do know how to make it better. Much, much better. Okay, let's have one last visit. Hello, darling. You too, beautiful. Mmm, pork meatballs. Ooh, yakisoba. Gum syrup. Huh. I think you can order some noodles here. I think I had that last time. And that. And I think I have one in each. Hot oil. You have to hit this on a certain spot, like the glass bottle ketchup or something. Jackie's soap is not bad. This is a lot of effort and saran wrap for just a little bite of sandwich. Hmm. This society, it's a society where sandwich crust is not tolerated. And God bless them for that. Hey little sandwiches, meet your role model. Can't believe this is the last time I'm gonna hold this for God knows how long. It's moments like these that makes you think about life and the fleeting moments that just go by too quickly. God, those fleeting moments are delicious. This ramen so much. So, so good. It's so flavorful. Is it weird that I like the instant noodle version of this better than the restaurant? Sweet. I think I flew A and A the most of my business class trips. First of all, it's such a good airline. Secondly, I've been going to Japan a lot this year. And usually when I do flight business class, I try to experience new airlines that I haven't been on before so I can show you guys. But this time when I booked the flight back, tickets were insanely expensive. But I was able to get this business class flight for double the price of the economy, which is insane. Ooh. <laughs> I like that light. I don't want to accidentally push this during meal time if I fall asleep. Here, the 
Adventures in is pretty much the same. Oh, they changed the menu this time. This is gonna be awesome. Shabu Shabu Beef. Grilled Barracuda. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. Marinated snow crab meat. Oh, we could have roast duck, scallop mushroom. This is so weird. This is for guava juice with apricot. That's, I don't know about this. If I didn't know what this was, I'd say this is pretty good. But I know it's for guava. It's kind of weird to me. I mean, it's sweet, it's a bit savory. I just don't know how I feel about for guambus. I like this little fresh stick though. I really don't taste it for guam. I like the shallot, really crunchy, fresh veggie flavor. When it says smoked crab, I was kind of uh, hoping for a little more than just this. It's good though, a little sweet. A little sesame sauce for the shabu beef. That's pretty yummy. Very, really tender beef. You see the marbling right there? That's all sorts of tender. potatoes and wine. Japanese cuisine is just so pretty. I kind of looked over and uh, actually the international cuisine looks pretty good. It's like a piece of steak. Still pretty hungry after eating all this. This cup steak would have been better. Some pickled ginger. Sometimes Japanese food is prettier than it tastes, which is the case for most bento boxes out there. But I think today, that was definitely the case. I should have got a steak. Mm. Tastes good though. Kudo instant noodle for breakfast. Oh, and that. Still pretty good. This food seems really dry. A little dry. Mmm, sounds pretty good. Back in New York, having Taking a trip as long as that in a long time. I'll tell you what, I mean, as much as I love Japan, it's good to be back. It's so humid, it's like, look at this. Like storm clouds, huh? Oh, here's the thing. 
I got maybe one hour sleep on the plane. I don't know what happened, couldn't sleep on the plane. I got about two hours of a drive back to my house. Um, I usually stay in the city and eat something, but today rush hour is upon me, so I'm just gonna try to hit back and I'm gonna show you guys what I tend to do as soon as I get back home to kind of detox a little bit. I think my lift is here. I'll see you in my house. Oh my god. It's usually like two hours max. Well, let's go eat dinner, I guess. My street, which is a dead end road, basically at night, it's always foggy and misty and kind of spooky looking. Try to get home as early as I could today so it's not too late. Oh, that's not good. But well, that package has been out here for a while, completely <laughs> trenched. So basically, I have to come home and I don't have any auto lights or anything, which you guys can't see anything, right? When I left, it was still really, really warm um, in New York, but now it's it's literally freezing cold at night. I mean, it's down to the 30s at night. This is a luggage, so luckily they wrapped it in uh, plastic, so that's not completely horrible. Yay, good. It's my creepy house. Oh, that's a lot of mail. All right, this is gonna be really, really sad. See what I have to eat. Oh, that's just <laughs> it's just bad. Oh, well, you know what? This is gonna be dinner tonight. Got some jerkies and some nuts. I guess I'm gonna live like a squirrel today. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, well, why did I choose this house if it's kind of creepy? I like the countryside. I like the street I'm on. I like this area. It's very peaceful. So even though the house does look like that and it's way older than I would have liked, I really wanted to live on the street and, and have just have my own huge property. Plus, I got a bow and arrow. Okay, that, that probably will not fight ghosts all that well, but makes me feel a little better. And this is kind of crazy, but I just got back and I'm leaving again two days later for another 10 days. I can't talk about it yet what I'm doing, but I'm doing a project. We're going and filming in the US, then we're gonna go film in Europe. The project will take a month and I can't wait to tell you guys about it, but I don't, I don't have a lot of days here. So tonight I'm gonna eat my jerky, eat some nuts. I'm gonna hit the treadmill really, really hard. Tomorrow, I'll get a full day's rest and then set Saturday, back at it. Ooh, something else I love to do at the end of every single trip. Every cool city I go to, I always get magnets, and this time I went to Jeju. There we go, that's the Jeju uh, mermaid. Here is another one. There's the volcano, the mermaid. The mandarins is really famous for, dolphins. I didn't get any from Japan because last time I was there I got a lot, but I did get this. Good luck kitties. One has the symbol of smile, one has the symbol of fortune. There we go. <laughs> I think that's pretty adorable. All right guys, I gotta go eat, I gotta go work out, I gotta go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been an amazing, amazing Japan trip. I really, really, I mean, this is the longest I've ever stayed in a single country. All right, good night.